Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. I have a match in my uh, Efrit. This was requested by Viscarian. He wanted the Cubola, I mean the uh, Efrit knocked in Cubola Mark II colors. He didn't specify which one, so I just decided to go with uh, the standard uh, Epilio Peru standard Mark, uh, Cubola Mark II you see. So uh, there was there is a big drop for uh, of the information for gun battle operation too, just so you guys know. Sorry for the little uh, tick there. I'm opening up the update. So the next new mobile suit is the Kapool. I don't know why everybody wants this thing, but here we go. So far, I know it has reactive armor level one and maneuver armor level one. It has underwater uh, survivability. Has three weapons from what I'm seeing, or four technically. You got eight uh, missiles times eight, uh, a laser beam, uh, and a melee weapon, and then you got what it looked like it was shooting lasers off the top of its head. And here's the kicker now everybody can't say, well, I don't understand what the fuck this game is talking, saying. There's English voices going to be added with this next update, so no one can use that excuse, well, I don't know what the, uh, the AI is saying. Well, there you go. No more fucking excuses for you. So, yeah, um, and I'm pretty sure this is also the update we get the new map. I could be wrong. Uh, okay, yeah, so for this one, it's the addition of the new map, Military Base, Kapool addition to English voice, ask, uh, voice acting. Strict withdrawal penalties, rating correction in case of withdrawal, and we are getting the PS5 version of uh, Gun and Battle Operation 2. So, you can play the PS5 uh, with the PS4 version, but they're releasing a PS5 version, which just increases the uh, even more smoothness and so on and so forth. So, yeah. That's what they're doing. So that's a plus. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to update right now. I am not staying up because I have not been sleeping uh, lately for it. So, well, I might stay up depending if I sleep or not. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not good with the uh, effort knocked, as you guys can tell. Um... So, yeah, I'm not really... I'm just not good with raids. And somehow... Like, anytime there's a pilot up here, I cannot kill a pilot, but man, if I'm up here, I'm the first one to die. Perfect. Every time. It never fails with me. I always get killed when I'm up there. But yeah, the Noct is a, uh, it starts at level 1 at 350 cost. Um, it's got jamming and stealth. Um... I still feel like jamming hurts it. I wish it was a targetable ability. It just hit the D-pad or yeah, the the uh, the touchpad, and it would activate for like 30 seconds and then turn back off. I think I'd much rather have that than jamming uh, uh, constantly on at all times because that just kind of gives it away. It just no, it just lets you know that the knocked is in your presence, and you got to keep an eye out for it. But uh. Yeah, he wanted, uh, Viscarian wanted me to use the single blade too, so that's why I'm running single blade. Plus, I, I prefer the single blade too, uh, a lot more than the dual blade, because the single blade's downswing looks way cooler. The, just the solitary single chop looks cool as hell to me. But yeah, now, now people can't say, oh, I don't understand what the, uh, AI is saying, so I can't do what they're saying. Or I don't know when there's a bot game, uh, uh, a pilot heading towards base. Well, now you know because the AI does tell you. So I don't want to hear it. So yeah, that's uh, this is a good change. Oh, nice medium damage. Hassan shot. Oh, have we got the kill? But yeah, um, so this is a good update. It's gonna be. I don't know how big it's gonna be. Oh, my phone better not. I don't need my phone making noise because I don't want to get tagged by the studios um but i'm assuming it's, it's gonna be at least a two to three gig size download that's my assumption usually they uh do those big updates about this time of the month anyway so yeah
everybody's freaking out like, oh, English voice acting and all that in my Discord. But yeah, um, I'm I'm excited for it. I, I can't I can't wait to see what the PS5 version of GBO2 really does. They said they're gonna do more changes with that. If I'm not mistaken, let's see where is that at. Uh, but it is suddenly as further power up elements of uh, Battle Op 2. This uh, this time the PS5 version of Gun Battle Operation 2. Uh, it was decided to release. If the ex uh, expected value raises too much, it will be a problem. So let me tell you first: the content is basically the same as the PS4 version. It is already possible to play the PS4 version of the uh, Gun Battle Operation 2 on the PS5 main unit, but the PS5 function may not be available for the PS4 version. So we have decided to release the PS5 version again. Uh, now let me uh, introduce the P uh, differences between the PS5 version and the PS4 version. Differences, uh, the differences are uh, real experience between the function of DualSense wireless controller. Vibration data has been renewed in the uh, haptic feedback PS5 version. You can experience more delicate premium uh, vibration compared to the PS5 ver and PS4 version. We are adding vibration patterns according to weapon category, machine gun, beam rifle, etc. Adaptive trigger when inputting with the L2 or R2 button, a resistance simulating the road, uh, the load when pulling the trigger of a real gun is generated uh, at each button. In addition, there is also weapons that are given a lifelike uh, knockback so you can enjoy a higher level of realism. In addition to launch SE, which I'm not too sure, from speaker, oh, so sound's going to be coming out of the controller, that's kind of weird. On and off can be specified uh, an option on the screen of with all above options, improve uh, improvement frame rate. The PS5 version has an overall over uh, improved overall game frame rate, smoothness smoothness of movement, shortening of load time, faster load times for some gameplay. Unfortunately, the most important load on sortie isn't dramatically faster because of all the players have to synchronize, but it's faster in single player mode. You can experience uh, one prepared in comparison video, which I I'm not gonna play the videos. So you can hear the audio and all that. I, I, I'm, I don't want to get in trouble for that. I know a few people that have gotten in trouble for that. So I'm not doing it. But yeah, um, they, they, uh, look at this control coming out of nowhere. They, they, incre uh, did some stuff. So I'm assuming they're going to upgrade a little bit more down the road and see what they can do. But that, that's my assumption. I don't know if they will or not, but if they do, that'd be great. But yeah, um, that, so that's the update. I hope you guys uh, are happy about all of that. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. But anywho, uh, Viscarian, I hope you enjoyed your match and the Kibble painted uh, Ifrit knocked. I enjoyed using it. It's fun. I had a lot of fun in this match. I was giggling like a little girl. But anywho, let's take a look at the Patreons. We have Brandon Markey, Always Shipper, Asriel, Casey, Sidebaster, Dragon Spartan 90, Gunnam Nuggers, Jeff Dunn, Clav, Maverick, Momica, Ninja Guy 12, Peter, Strike, Tyler, Spud, Oni Savage, Suda Souls, Trelos, Alimos, Steel Talon, Bad Logic, Minty Robo, Ya Boy Burrito, Bird Person, Mysteries, Mercenary, Giver Taker, Will Stab, Tally Mayas, Hand Banana, Phantom OC, A Drunk Zaku, Viscarian, Ziana uh, Ghost, Michael, Bryson, and Wolflord Bainbeard, I want to thank you guys for supporting me. It means a lot, and we shall talk to you guys later.